So, you wanted to see the secret weapons that Ken Hunt engraves with to do his little masterpieces. Well, here they are. This is what they are. Sophisticated, aren't they? You know, you know, they cost thousands of pounds, don't they? God, my body. Look at these. These are old bits of broom handle I cut down. These are just old engravers uh, and lino cutting tools I had. A cork from a bottle I don't drink, but still, there you are, there's a cork. And I just put that in, it's a handle. Oh, you can engrave with it. All this about, you've got to pay thousands of dollars or so many hundreds of thousands of pounds or whatever it is for your equipment. All you need is art your hands, your eyes, and knowing how to sharpen the tool. I mean, look at these things. Look, there you are. See, that's the type of tool I worked with. Hand pushed, uh, a chisel with a hammer. These were made in Belgium by for Rennie Del Cor. He gave me these, you see? So every time a tool used to get used, he took it into the blacksmith and he made a new one out of it. Um, so that's, there's one here. Oh, look at that. I just etched that with uh, acid once just to make it personal. I did this in 1972. Yeah, just in case people wanted to see what I could do. Looks like a bit of armour, doesn't it? Well, there you are. See the point? See the little wet? None of this. Oh, it's going to be 30 degrees and 40 degrees, 45 degrees, whatever it is. Sort of. All we do is get the, the stone here. We had an oil stone. This is one with a diamond, uh, but this is the finer one. So what we did, put our fingers on here like that, put it flat on the surface, lifted it up, did it a few times like that, Looked at that point, turned it the other side, there, made sure that it was cutting. It's slightly off. It cuts. So I put it on my finger nail there, so it's not catching. So it means, to, means to say it's blunt. So now, oh, that's for the people that love that screechy sound. So now I put it on there. It's still not working properly on there. I normally used to put oil on my stone to make it work properly. And I haven't done it for a little while now, but you can see the the um, the wet there. See, it's on that angle there. And it's like that. And we used to grind the backs down like that. And so there it gives you the idea or of the tip. And see, it's not a wide tip, and that's what I use all the time. So now I'm putting that on my there. And as we often used to say, if it cuts, it doesn't really matter which way or what angle it is. If it cuts, it cuts. Yeah, it's catching my finger now, you see. See that? I, can't, I can feel it on the nail. Although it doesn't look so wonderful. But it cuts, you hammer and chisel it. Uh, this is all I'm trying to show you. All these little things, see how small they are? They're not these massive great things that you have there, you see? There, yeah. and I roll, roll, um, grind the back down like that. See the handle is just made from a piece of old wood. You can do it. There's one that there. I can take this out and fix a new piece in here if I wanted to. That's with the small ones. But look at them. Come on. You don't have to worry about, oh, it's, I've set up this and set up that.